Hey teachers! So recently here on my channel, I have been covering some of the big updates that have been made to Flipgrid and how to incorporate those updates into your teaching and how to navigate those updates in the platform. And today I'm really excited because I'm going to be talking about an updated feature that I think is amazing, especially if you are teaching virtually right now. You are going to want to know about this. So let's dive in. Now, if you have ever watched any of the videos in my Flipgrid series, which all of those are li linked in the description below, you know that Flipgrid is an online platform where you can post questions and assignments for your students and you can do it in a really fun way by creating videos or using GIFs. There's all kinds of things that you can do. And then your students respond with video. So students really love this because it's like a controlled social media platform where they can create videos and interact with each other in an educational way and it's moderated and controlled. But one of the new features that I really love about Flipgrid is they have created a feature where not only can you create assignments, but now you can actually create videos using Flipgrid's really fun camera tools and features and you can create educational videos that you can then embed in your Google Classroom or on a Google site or in a lot of different LMS uh, platforms. So I'm really excited about this because if you're teaching virtually, this is a really fun and easy way for you to create engaging video content for your students that they can learn the standards throughout the school year. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer. I'm gonna show you where to access this tool on your dashboard, and then how to use all of those camera features. So let's go ahead and jump on right now. You can see that I am logged into my Flipgrid dashboard. And anytime you log into your dashboard, it should automatically take you to this discussion tab. Now to create videos that you're gonna be able to share with your students that aren't necessarily part of a topic or an assignment, you're gonna click on shorts up here at the top. And you will see all of the shorts that you've already created listed. But if you wanna create something new, just click on record a video. Now, when you are using Flipgrid to record a video, it's important to know that you can record up to 10 minutes. So if you want to create video with content that's over 10 minutes, you're gonna to need to break that up into multiple parts. So, with creating shorts, it's really exciting because Flipgrid has actually added a whole lot of new camera features and you can incorporate those features into the videos that you create for your students. So you can see, this is just a preview of me here. I haven't actually started recording yet, but we've got different options down here. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you what happens when you click on options. This menu will come up with these. The first one is upload a clip. And this is, do you have a video clip of something already recorded that you want to incorporate into your video? You would just download it or upload it here. Now, the next one, this one is actually very helpful, the mirror tool, and you can see it's just flipping the camera. And this is helpful if you have like a board behind you with information. Obviously, you want students to be able to read, so using uh, the mirror tool can be helpful for that. Now, sometimes you want students to be able to see what is on your screen without hearing you or hearing sounds that are going on around you. So if you want to record a video but not record the audio, just click on this. And last, this is a way for you to capture what is on your screen. So if you want to share with what you're looking at on your screen, just click start screen recording. And it's actually really cool because your video will automatically pop up in the corner so they'll see you with it. I don't have any other windows open right now, but if I did, um, well, I have a couple of different options. I can choose to share my entire screen like this, um, exactly what's up. If I want to share a certain window, I would click here. And like I said, I don't really have a lot of windows open, so there's not really a specific one for me to click on. 
or if you're working in Chrome, you can actually have a certain tab pulled up and then just click on that tab and that's what it will share with your students. But this is a really helpful tool when you're creating your videos, especially if you create a video maybe where you show students how to use a program like Flipgrid or how to navigate Google Classroom or really any other online tool, you can create a video and share your screen and show students what to do. Now we're gonna go back and when you are ready to start recording, you're just gonna click this button here. And I'm gonna go through the effects as well. So let's go ahead and start recording. So it will give you a little countdown so you can prep your hair and get ready and everything. And then once it starts recording, you can incorporate the effects as well. So these are filters similar to what you see in like Instagram where you can add a fun filter to you. Um, you know, you can get these to go along maybe with what you're teaching. I was actually reading something about Flipgrid the other day and this brick filter and this pixel filter, they were saying these were really good to suggest to students who are maybe a little shy, maybe they're a little nervous about being on camera. As they are adjusting, you can recommend that they use these so everybody doesn't necessarily see them. I'm gonna clear the filters and go back. You can add a frame to what you're doing. Um, you can add emojis, which we know that students love emojis. And once it's on there, then you can uh, move it all around and do all kinds of things. Now you'll see that you've got some options over here. You can choose to undo and redo. If you wanna completely clear your screen, let's say you have a lot of emojis up here, you can just click this. Now, another thing that you can do, well, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Let's say I wanna use the text or the drawing tool and I wanna be putting things up here as my students, or I wanna be writing as my students are watching. I can click on this and go ahead and start writing or typing, write, I'm really bad at drawing. <laughs> um, I can go ahead and start writing or typing right on the screen while I'm talking and it will record that way. But let's say, I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. Let's say I don't want to try to type or draw at the same time while I'm talking because sometimes that's a little hard to do. I can also pause the video so now it's not recording me anymore and now I can go in and draw whatever I was gonna draw. Let's not try to write this time, we'll actually draw something. Um, and then start recording again and that will be on the screen so I'm not trying to do two things at once because sometimes it can be hard to teach and type and draw and do all these things at one time. Now, whenever you're finished, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. Whenever you're finished, you can click, and actually I'm gonna come back to the screen in just a second because there's some other really cool features like the whiteboard that I wanna show you, but I wanna show you something else real quick. When I'm finished, I'm gonna click next. down so you can prep your hair and get ready. This is going to let me review what I've already recorded and you can also edit this. Okay, so the screen that I am on now, this is going to let me preview and edit what I have recorded. So if I'm down so you can prep your hair, click on this, I can actually trim the beginning or the end of the video. So let's say I don't like the beginning, I can go ahead and start it here um, and just trim the beginning and the end of the video. And when I'm done, I will just click confirm. See and like Instagram. Now let's say I've edited this and I've decided I'd still like to add a little bit more. I wanna add that whiteboard tool in to show my students some unique things. I'm just gonna click add more and it will take me back here to the camera. Now if I wanna add in the whiteboard tool, we're gonna click on board right here and you can decide what type of board you want. I'm just gonna use a traditional whiteboard. And then you'll see this option here to split the screen. Basically, you can decide how much of the board your students see and how much of you they see. So I'm gonna split it about 50-50. Minimize this. And then I can go ahead and start recording. 
and I can pull up the drawing or the typing tool and I can go ahead and write or type on the whiteboard while I'm recording. And then, like I said before, when you're finished, you'll just hit pause. Now, let's go to next again, where you can view and edit. Now, and like Instagram. One thing that's really cool is if you decide you're in this viewing and editing mode, and then you decide you want to go back and add more video to it, and you go back and you record, um, this little part right here is the part that I just recorded with the whiteboard, and I can actually move pieces around. So if I decide I want that whiteboard part to go first, I just clicked and dragged it and dropped it back at the beginning so I can move the different clips around. And like I said, if you want to have multiple clips, all you're gonna do is go to this view and edit screen and then go back and click add more. And each time you go back and add more, it's gonna show up as a different clip that you can move around. Now, let's say I have my video, it is completely done. I've finished editing it, I have all the clips in the right order, I have all the content that I want my students to see, up to 10 minutes. I'm gonna click Next. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a selfie that will be part of the thumbnail. So I'll just... And then you can also add effects to your thumbnail, so Let's say I want to name this, we could just call it something random. Meet Mrs. Vestal. And then I can kind of angle this over here. We can add more effects in, like emojis. I'll add this in here. Okay, so now this will be, this is my thumbnail. It's all ready to go. I'm gonna click next and it is going to upload my video. So now you will see this here as a short. So now let's say you've recorded this educational video where you have taught this content to your students. Now you may be wondering, how do I share it with my students? So simple. You're just going to click on the video. You'll see the screen come up. Um, you can click play to go ahead and preview it. And there's a lot of different ways that you can share it with your students. If you just want to send it to them in an email, you can copy the link, share that link anywhere with your students. You can create, if you click here, you can create a QR co code that students can scan to watch it. You can choose to download the video and then this will download the video to your computer, your device and then you can upload that video to another platform, maybe like YouTube or something like that. Um, this is going to create the HTML code for your video, so maybe you want to embed it into a website or an LMS. You can embed that code and it will automatically embed the video. You can share it on Microsoft Teams. This will allow you to share it with your Google Classroom. And this will allow you to share it on Remind, which to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what that is. If you know what it is, leave a comment below. But that's all you're going to do um, to create and share your video. And I love this program. The only downside to it, and I have not been able to find a workaround for this yet, and that is uh, closed captioning or subtitles. I've not been able to find a way to add subtitles to this. So that is the only downside to it is if you need those subtitles for accessibility. Since we've made this shift to virtual learning, there's a lot of different programs and resources available that will allow you to create videos for your students. And I have to say that this is one of my favorite that I've seen just because Flipgrid does have all of the fun features like the text and stickers and different things that you can use to make your videos really engaging for your students. So I definitely recommend this tool if you are looking for a way to create videos that you can upload and share with your students and teach them in a fun way. And I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know below. Are you using Flipgrid to record your videos or are you using another program to record your videos? We would love to hear 
what you guys are using. And then make sure to like and subscribe to this channel because we are uploading new videos all the time that can help you whether you are teaching remotely or you're teaching in a classroom. And we don't want you to miss out on any of those videos. So until next time, happy teaching.